professional coin grading services has offices set up in different parts of the world now to accept submissions to have coins graded. Muriel Emery is the head of the division in Hong Kong now. She used to be in Paris, but she's now based in Hong Kong. She's here at the Long Beach Show to talk about the developments of PCGS around the world. Well, the first thing I want to say is that I'm very, very happy to be, you know, part of this Long Beach show and to finally, you know, come to California. Uh, the reason is because I'm basically following, you know, like our clientele and dealer. We organized for the first time, you know, this year, but for the first time ever in the history of the Long Beach show, 20 to 30 of our uh, very prominent dealers and collectors from China to come to the show to have tables. Uh, because it's their, uh, it's our way first, you know, to show them, you know, what's all about PCGS. So they first, you know, went to visit our office and here to see also the magnitude and how a U.S. show look like. And I understand you've relocated from Paris to Hong Kong. Why this switch? Why this switch? Well, indeed, uh, we started our international uh, development by Europe because it was already, you know, a sophisticated market, much more, you know, mature. So we set up Paris about almost three years and a half ago. Uh, two years and a half ago, we set up the Hong Kong office, leveraging the Hong Kong show. And our last expansion was last year, last July 2013, where we opened our Shanghai office. So now with 80% of our activities and especially a strong focus on getting, you know, those new office grounded and ready, you know, to grasp all the opportunity of the Asian numismatic market, it made more sense to be located in Hong Kong, traveling to Shanghai, you know, every week, than eventually being based in Paris and doing the contrary. But we're still very happy with the European office. There seems to be a lot of interest in coins in China. What does the market look like for numismatics in the Asian world? Uh, there is, well, first, there is a tremendous history of uh, uh, numismatic uh, experience uh, and appreciation. So those uh, civilization, I'm not only talking about the Chinese, but also, you know, the Taiwanese, the Japanese, the Korean, uh, are, are, have a strong demismatic uh, collection uh, expertise and experience and background and history. Uh, right now, there is two markets in China. You've got the modern market, uh, which is more slightly investment, you know, like, I mean, driven. And then you have the vintage market. In 2011, there was, a, uh, there was a, a bubble in the market, I mean, in China, that repercuted as well in Hong Kong, uh, which is a big auction place, you know, for Chinese coin. Uh, and uh, there's been a, a severe uh, drop uh, on the coin price, both in the vintage and the moderns, in, starting 2011. But we start seeing now in the latest, you know, auction, both in Hong Kong and in Beijing, that happened a couple of weeks ago, a, a slight rebound of the pricing. And it seems that that bubble was actually uh, welcomed by uh, uh, some of the people, at least on the vintage price, to readjust the price to a much more coherent market value. Modern side is it's still not there. People are still expecting a little, you know, downturn in this market up to 2015 uh, because it was mainly uh, investment and you know gift driven and uh, the macro economy has uh, changed so this, those are, this is the market where it's most reflected. Uh, now having said that, if you put it back in the world context, uh, this is not at all dramatic and not at all, you know, like, I mean, the same than in the American or the European market, because we're still talking double-digit growth, and there's still huge potential uh, of uh, increase in those markets. So actually, now is eventually a good time to start, you know, buying and buying, you know, both modern gold and silver commemorative coins, circulating coin, and also vintage coin, uh, because they are bound to increase very rapidly. Uh, in the coming decade.